A cabinet memorandum approved on the 7th of June allowed for food items stored at the port to be released to Satusa. It was a joint memorandum presented to the cabinet by both Minister of Trade Bandalukuna Wardana and Minister of Ports and Shipping Rohita Abeguna Wardana. The memorandum read essential food items which are not released by the port or are confiscated by the Sri Lanka customs must be released to Lanka Satasa in order for them to be sold to local customers at a reasonable price. However, one could be led to question at this instance as to whether the stock of garlic in question was either not recovered from the port or confiscated by the Sri Lanka customs. The true importer of the stock of garlic lodging a complaint at the CID yesterday claimed that this stock of garlic was neither confiscated by the Sri Lanka customs nor did he fail to recover it from the port. The importer alleged that 18 containers of food items, including the consignment of garlic, had been brought to the port at 12.24 p.m. on the 14th of July, noting the release of the consignment from the port had been delayed due to complications in obtaining foreign exchange for the relevant payments. He went on to allege the consignment of garlic had been pilfered out of the Colombo port amid this situation. Is it not a scam to release containers stored at the Colombo port without notifying the true importer? The second question which arises is, was this consignment released to be offered to local consumers at a reasonable price serve its purpose? A probe launched by the Consumer Affairs Authority revealed on the 9th of September 2021, garlic had been sold to an unknown trader at 135 rupees per kilo. What is even more surprising is that the 56,000 kilograms of garlic were released by simply placing a log in a CR book. A kilo of garlic cost 320 rupees at the wholesale market in Peta when news first ascertained prices of garlic in the local market today. Hence, it is evident that the trade in question had enjoyed a profit of 185 rupees per kilo through the consignment of garlic purchased from Satusa. He had generated a profit of more than 10 million rupees within a very short period. It must also be noted that the retail price of a kilo of garlic in the local market currently exceeds 450 rupees. Have authorities failed to notice a scam of such mammoth proportions carried out in mere minutes for going any sort of payment including import cost? The other serious issue that arises is this particular announcement issued by the Ministry of Trade several hours after the Consumer Affairs Authority exposed details of the scam. In its release, the Ministry of Trade said none of the top officials at Lanka Satusa Limited were connected to the incident. It further adds four employees at Lanka Satusa Limited have been sent on compulsory leave following the revelation. How can the Ministry of Trade reach such a conclusion prior to an investigation being launched? Who is behind this garlic scam which could have been offered to the local consumer at a reasonable price, especially at a time the populace is suffering the detrimental effects of a pandemic?